Hello and welcome to another training video at SkySiv Structural 3D. Today we're going to take you through how to build a curved member in the Structural 3D program. So we're going to use a curved member functionality uh, that's been rolled out in the latest update of SkySiv. And um, to start out, all we're going to have to do is start with two nodes. So I'm just going to do a node in uh, the X, so 10, 1 at 0, 0, 0, and then uh, 1 at 10 feet across in the X. So once I've got my two nodes, um, I can just select them just by clicking and holding control. Um, I can select those two nodes and under advanced operations, I have my curved, curved member function here that I can run. So that'll uh, prompt me with a, with a pop-up box with a few uh, parameters that I need to enter. So the first one is the number of members. So basically, uh, this is a linear static analysis software, so uh, all the members do need to be linear which are straight lines. So all we're really doing is breaking up a curved member into a series of straight lines. And what this is asking is how many uh, elements would I like to break it up into. So the higher the number, the finer the curve will be. Um, the lower the number, the more coarse and kind of straight line or straight edges that the, the your curve will have. So we'll go for something in between, say 10. Uh, actually, we'll go a little bit finer. I'll show you how the difference between a, a much smoother curve um, as opposed to a, a more jagged curve. Um, the next question is basically the radius. So in feet, um, what is the radius of the circle or the curved member that I would like to um, create? So the minimum is going to be the half distance between the two selected points, which I can see as being five feet. So the number will have to be greater than five feet and I'll go 10 feet. And basically the larger the number, the, the, the smaller, sorry, the bigger the radius, therefore the smaller the, uh, the circle um, height will be. So uh, the next question is the plane, um, and this is going to be in the XY plane as I want to build my circle. Uh, just look at my coordinate system here. I want to build that up like that. And again, direction, I want to go positive just to show that it is um, in that positive in that Y direction. So I'll hit submit. And I can see it's drawn a nice smooth curve for me there um, and broken up into 20 elements. Um, and so it's quite a, quite a smooth smooth curve, fine curve there. Uh, so I'll just control Z and then again, I'm going to just going to run it again just by control A, so selecting both my nodes, operations, curve member. And this time just to show you the difference, I'll drop it down to five members and we'll go for a steeper radius. So we'll go for say six feet um, and we'll do it in the negative as well. So we're going to go in the negative direction in this curve. So I'll submit that. And so I can see that it is just a series of straight lines. This makes it more obvious. And I can see um, that it's now in the negative direction, obviously. And that it's only broken up into five segments um, as per the, the pop-up box that I, and all the information that I entered. So um, I'm just showing another example. You can do it in other planes as well. So for instance, if I want to create a curved roof over this frame, I can select my two nodes. Uh, select the curve mem member function, and we'll go for quite a smooth one here. So we'll go for 20, 6 foot radius. And in this one, I'm going to go to the YZ plane because, again, looking at my coordinate system, I want to build it in the YZ plane, uh, not the XY plane like my previous example. And we'll keep the direction as positive. And another useful function to use here would be um, kind of the mirror or duplicate function where I can then duplicate out these nodes and uh, repeat it once in, say, the, uh, the x direction. So 20 feet in the x direction. And so that's been able to duplicate all those nodes across. So it's quite useful to use um, in collaboration with our other functions as well. So um, that completes a short tra training video, video on how to build a curved member in the Structural 3D program. Uh, feel free to check out other documentation videos. Otherwise, if you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at skysiv.com. Thank you.